Aloha to all of my astrology lovers out there and welcome back to Vision Quest Astrology. And we are going to be getting our opposition series today. You know you're excited, I'm excited, so let's get into it. So the very first opposition we're going to be looking at in Axis is going to be one that loves to be first as one of the opposing ends of this Axis is all about, and that is Aries to Libra. Aries likes to be first, and Libra likes to put everybody else first, and then you got Libra over here, Aries over there, and then you got somewhere in the middle. So the one, the one and only, Aries. Aries is an energy we need in this world, as all of the 12 ar archetypes really represent. And Aries is cardinal fire, it's up there in the front, it's constantly doing, it's doing, 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 going, it has the vision in mind, and it trudges forth, and it doesn't think a whole lot about it. And that's a good thing, because of that action-oriented Mars energy and North Node energy that kind of gets tied up in there. I think that uh, the North Node has a lot to do with Aries. Zero degree Aries point, that part of us that is all about our individuality, what we came to this world to do with our destiny. And Aries, it's that drive, it's that instinctive force inside of us that does not give up no matter what. It's the internal warrior inside us all, essentially. Libra on the other end over here, and they're like, uh, to do or not to do? That is the question. <laughs> In doing so, Libra gets really stuck in that sometimes. They're reflecting because they don't want to hurt this person's feeling like, Bob, I know I told you I was going to do this. Oh, but wait, I told Sarah I was going to refill the dishwasher. Oh, shit, what has happened to my life? Well, Deborah, um, well, you're an idiot. Why? Why am I an idiot? What did I do? I was just trying to help everybody. I just want to be of service. Why can't I just be a good person? Oh, well, Libra, you try to please all and you please none. That's what I told you to begin with. And that's where the directness comes in with Aries. Aries is very blunt. It's very direct. Libra is very passive aggressive. It's very, um, it's very soft. It's Venusian. It's got that Venus rulership and just wants beauty and art and love, essentially. And, um, these two, they really clash heads on that one. But, in the middle ground, there is some equilibrium. But these two, more so than any other, are the opposition of oppositions because they are on that teeter-totter. And in the middle, they share the same axis with each other. And what that axis is, is relationship. No way, Aries can't be about relationship, that's only Libra. Well, not really, I'm here to kind of candy crush you on that one. <laughs> Me, myself, and I, y'all. That is what Aries is all about. And then Libra on the other side of that is relationship to others. So when we look at it from this perspective, a relationship to yourself is it, just as important as a relationship to anyone else. Because if you don't know you and don't know who you are as a person, how can you relate to anybody else to begin with? If you don't have the ability to relate to other people and can only relate to yourself, then your well is going to run just as dry in the long run anyways. What this equates to is balance, the equal sign that we all love in our math equations. That's what we want here. Um, Aries aspires for this balance just as much as Libra does. They're just going about it in two different ways. And so when you merge the self and you merge the other, you come together and you form unionship. You form a union because the self can't thrive without other people. And other people cannot thrive without the self. Because self without others is going to be lonely and deprecating and just full of their of of their own ego. They're, they're going to be so infatuated with the self and so on this path of individualism that they forget how to relate to another human being and how to really have that true connectedness. And then on the other end of that spectrum with Libra, you know, without, yeah, they're running around trying to socialize with everybody and make everyone happy and have a good time in that. At the end of the night, when they go home, do they know who they are? Can they say, wow, this is what I want, because they're so focused on what everybody else wants, that they don't know who they are. They're, they're just, they're having, they're having fun at the party, they're drinking, oh yeah, Bob, I'll do this, or I'll do that, I don't care, never asserting what they really want out of life, whereas Aries has no problem doing it. Libra has to learn to find what they want, and Aries has to discover what the other wants so that their sense of self can, can actually contribute something to the greater whole. And that is where the birthing of this union becomes so great because when you mix that together, 
it's ecstasy. They are really, they have the same thing in common. They both want the same thing. They are just running in two opposite directions to really realize that. But when they come to the same dinner table for long enough, sit down, hash it out, talk, spill out everything, they go, oh, well, wait, I actually need you, and you need me. And Aries at first never thought they could do that, and Libra never thought that they would just need themselves. Then they go, oh, wait, Aries, you were right. You were right all along. Oh, Libra, you, you make a point with all that reflection you're doing over there, finally. I need you too. Who would have thought? Out of these two counterparts that thought they only needed one or the other, they come together, they blend, and that is the union that goes from there. They have found the eternal balance that they were looking for all along. That is the Aries to Libra opposition, the really just the main one of them all, um, but all of them are just as important. These are just the first guys representing the whole slew. Next up, we're going to be doing Taurus to Scorpio, which will be super fun with values and all that good stuff and possessions. and uh, But yeah, so this is it for now. Thank you for tuning in, you guys, and peace out. See you next time.